Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. All right, you guys, in some of my last videos, I told you I would be talking about many of the things I am packing for our upcoming cruise. Now, if you are a first time cruiser, um, I just, I thought I'd share my suggestions for you. There's gonna be a number of videos I'm gonna make in order to keep it relatively uh, short, but be able to go a little bit in depth on each of them. So I will probably be developing a bunch of videos and therefore probably a playlist. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is getting a pretty extensive first aid kit together if you're going on a cruise that is five or more days long. And honestly, if you're going anywhere out of the country that you live in, um, I really recommend a first aid kit. And if you have a family that you're taking, like mom, dad, and the kids, I really recommend this. So what I suggest you do is get one of these hanging sh like caddy organizers, okay? So I have a couple of these. This one is my first aid kit. Here's what it looks like. I got it on Amazon and I have linked these in my Amazon shop, okay? That link is down below. I'm gonna show you guys. The nice thing is they just hang and then it all folds up to go into your luggage. Okay, so the nice thing is it hangs because you don't have a ton of room in your cruise cabin. Depends on the size of room you get, but space is always at a premium in a cruise. So this is really a pretty extensive first aid kit and I'm gonna hopefully explain to you guys why I pack everything I pack. So this one's got some, a little pocket, a zipper pocket here in the front, which is right here. So first thing I got, <clears throat> This is a very, very, very little, tiny travel size dental floss. I got two of those. <clears throat> nice thing is you use these up and you get rid of them on the ship. You're done. You're not hauling them back. Okay. The next thing is I've got a couple of these single vial eye drops. This is just purified saline to wet your eyes. However, if you get something in your eye and you need to try to flush it, these are really nice to have. Because they are single container, they're sterile and you're not contaminating with a, like an open bottle. So I plan on packing, there's at least, um, looks like there's nine here. I'll probably pack at least one or two more of these five um, so we've got a little bit of that because I've, I've had that happen where I've gotten like some kind of debris in my eye and I need to flush it out. Well, let me tell you, if you go down to the commissary or the store in the ship, they've got you. You're stuck on their ship. They can charge you whatever you want to get. They're going to charge you an exorbitant amount. So it's best to pack it. All right. So the other thing I have in here is a little roll of first aid tape. We'll get to that in a little bit. Keep that in mind. Okay. You never know when you might need this. And the other thing I'm packing, tweezers. You might get a sliver, you have to pull something out of your little, little sliver. It's always nice to have a set of tweezers on. Okay, so that's all I have packed in the front. And like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the eye drops. I just bought a new box to add in. I really like that these are sterile. You use one, you're not contaminating an entire bottle. Okay, that's the front section. Now, this has sections at the top and then a big section down below. I'm gonna start here at the top. And there's a ton of stuff in here, you guys. So you gotta remember, if you're cruising to a foreign country, it's not America, okay? There's not a corner CVS nearby or a corner Walgreens or Walmart. The chances are, if you need something, you're gonna have to buy it on the ship if they have it. So with that in mind, you might not need a whole box of something at, you know, a thousand percent markup. So I have a ton of little items in here. First is a couple of, these are nitrile gloves. If you get a wound and you need wound care, it's nice to have some nitrile gloves. I don't get latex. Most people are allergic to latex. It's really nice to have these um, nitrile gloves. I am packing a variety in a couple of places. It'll be on my, in my suitcase, but Safety pins. You never know when you need safety pins. So I've got little packets of four of these smaller size, and then I will have a couple of these larger size safety pins. If you rip something, if you lose a button on something and you need to pin it shut, got to have some safety pins on board. Then I will, you'll see, I have these kind of slid throughout the entire kit here. Band-Aids. Always, 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 always bring Band-Aids. Band-Aids are fantastic for not only just cuts and things, but uh, blisters as well. So 
these are a lifesaver to have these. Uh, on our last cruise, we were bicycling and a couple of people sort of fell off their bicycle. I had packed these on our little bicycle day excursion and as they're bleeding, I was able to hand them some band-aids to cover up their wounds. Awesome stuff. And then we get into the thoughts of getting a head cold, maybe not feeling really great. I've got a couple of options that I'm bringing for cold medication. I've got this two effervescent tablets of the Alka-Seltzer Plus. Easy to pack. I've got um, a couple of these daytime cold and flu caplets. Here is two airborne vitamin C's. I have, these are, I got to read them upside down. These are nighttime soft gels that are um, acetaminophen, um, diet, dextromethophan and di uh, doxyphamine succinate. Basically, they're like a, a nighttime gel when you're not feeling good. They kind of help you sleep. And then I have these little capsules that are phenylephrine. Basically, it's like a type of Sudafed. Cold, cold and flu type. If you've got a little head cold. Um, if you get sick, they may quarantine you to your room for the remainder of the cruise. So if you are feeling even remotely a little bit not so great, it's best to start medicating right away because if your person who takes care of your cabin realizes you're sick, you will get quarantined. <laughs> That'll be the end of the fun on the cruise for you. Okay, so we're gonna go into this next um, pocket. I gotta put these back in here. I pack lots of these disposable um, nitrile gloves. And I always get them in a decently large size. I try to get extra large so they fit not only me, but Hubster. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff in this little packet here. <clears throat> so, more safety pins. Don't need to show you guys all of them, but a couple more of those. I recommend having at least one nail clipper on uh, with you. Depending on how you're gone, you might need a toenail clipper as well, but at least have a nail clipper on board with you you'd be surprised how much if you break a nail how much you're gonna wish you had that and on that note i bring two nail files one's really fine 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 the other one's a little bit harsher to really get rid of like a really deep chisel out of your out of your nail so just a couple of those super easy as i mentioned before i'm pretty much stashing band-aids throughout this whole pack so bunch more band-aids bunch more band-aids I have a little packet of burn gel. This is called uh, water gel burn gel. It's a pain relieving gel. If you get a really bad sunburn or somehow you burn yourself, this is wonderful to have. You'll put that under a bandage. That can go on a burn. And then to disinfect any wounds, um, I do have some of these single packets of alcohol wipes. And I don't know, I've got, they're kind of, contained in a little baggie to try to keep from them drying out. I probably have maybe 10. Probably don't need any more than that, but if you get a wound and you want to clean it, you need to have something to clean it with other than maybe some soap and water, then you've got um, your alcohol wipes. And like I said, I just put them in a baggie just to try to keep them from drying out if something gets nicked, keeps the air out of them. So that is that second compartment. Again, Having one of these hanging things, it can hang in your bathroom, it can hang behind the door, you name it. Now we're getting into the big, big packet or pocket. I have a ton of stuff in here. So pull it all out slowly. Putting some spare extra sunscreen. If you guys watch me unbox my Stalvana, you'll know this came from Stalvana, but this is an SPF 50 for your face and um, really nice to have extras. I have, now this is not necessarily first aid kit, but it's an option for me to put this in. I recommend you bring some downy wrinkle release because anytime you pack it, doesn't matter what you're packing or how you're packing it, you're gonna need some wrinkle release. Especially if you're gonna do formal night on the ship and you're packing the dress, slacks, tie, um, dress shirts, need a wrinkle release. On that note, I'm probably gonna pack two tied to go pads. I'll have one in here to try to treat any stains so they don't set in while you're on your trip. All right, then we've got cough drops. Nobody wants to walk near anybody, be near anybody on a ship who can't stop coughing. Cough drops. 
You don't want to be quarantined in your cabin. We're going to definitely have a bunch of these to take. Now, we're going to Europe, and we're going to a lot of touristy stops, which is what you're, you do when you're on a cruise ship. They have public bathrooms. Public bathrooms do not necessarily have soap and water, nor do they necessarily have toilet paper. This things you need to be prepared for. So I have a bunch of these that came from Walmart um, and a various uh, places. These basically these little hand sanitizers. Anytime you go off the ship, every member of your party should have at least one of these with them so they can keep their hands clean while you're off the ship. So I'm packing a bunch of these. The nice thing is you can, <clears throat> as you start using them up, you can condense the bottles and get rid of the bottles. Less items to take home, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> on the note of the public bathrooms, this is not a bad thing to have with you on a cruise ship, okay? Uh, this is toilet water spray. Not a bad thing to have on an airplane. Not a bad thing to have with you on a cruise ship, okay? Basically, bathroom deodorizer. All right, then we've got, this is anti-itch cream. If you get into something, a bug bites you, you get into something you're allergic to, having some anti-itch cream is a lifesaver. They may not have this for sale on the cruise ship. So this is not a huge, huge container, but it is a um, analgesic and skin protectant that's for anti-itch. All right, guys, the other thing is you are going to be on a boat, okay? So we're going to talk about motion sickness. This is the uh, natural ginger Dramamine. So actually works really well. If you get an upset stomach and motion sickness, a lot of people drink ginger ale. This is the same concept. This is um, non-drowsy, absolutely natural Dramamine. I've used it. It works very well for me. Um, so I have a couple bottles of that. And then, of course, sometimes you want to be sleepy. I've got regular Dramamine as well for, you know, if the ginger is just not helping us, I've got the regular. These are super easy sample, little, not sample, but tra uh, travel sizes. I've got a lot of this stuff, you guys, linked in my Amazon shop, okay? Super easy to find. Not huge bottles to pack. Very easy to pack. Then we're going to have our travel size acetaminophen, which this one is Advil. I will get into this a little bit in another video. I am packing, it will be separated from this, but I am packing an entire, what I call it, drug kit, which has um, a bunch of like the same type stuff. Because if this gets lost, my luggage gets lost and I lose this, I'm gonna have some stuff with me as well. So we've got that sample size. Then, you know, they have buffets. They have amazing, amazing restaurants. You can eat whatever you, your heart's desire on these cruise ships. Sometimes, sometimes you need an antacid for maybe overeating or eating something that you just didn't agree with you and you got some uh, upset tummy. These are wonderful to have with you. All right, bear with me, you guys. Um, <clears throat> on the idea of you're trapped on a cruise ship, a laundromat is not nearby. They do have places you can do laundry. I do not recommend that you utilize the onboard laundry service because you never know what condition your clothes are going to come back in. If they come back, they might be like boiled in hot water. Um, it's really easy and really nice to be able to do a little bit of like sink laundry in your um, bathroom sink. These are little packets. I have them linked in my Amazon shop. You can do one small like sink load with each of these packets. So let's say you get really, really dirty or let's say you need to, you know, you want to wash everybody's bathing suits. They've been in them for four days and you're thinking they need to be washed. You can really easily do that. I'm packing just four of these laundry tab. Um, super easy. It's just a little liquid. can do my, my little laundry load in the sink if I need to. Okay, we've got more. So, I've also got two packets of Theraflu. All right. We've got Max Freeze. This is for... Um, Aches and pains, basically, let's say you go out hiking and you haven't hiked that long in a long time and you've got some sore muscles. Wonderful to have that on board. <clears throat> These are um, allergy lid scrubs for your eyes. I, perfect example right now, I'm having really, really bad allergies right now. We are all cutting our first crop of hay um, in basically the entire southern part of our state and my hay fever is going crazy. My eyes are itchy. You just wipe your eyelids after you wash your, your face. You wipe your eyelids with these. Now, these ones actually do contain um, 
green tea leaf extract and some other tea tree and some other things. So make sure, you know, if you do buy these, check out the ingredients, make sure they're not going to aggravate your allergies. Now, talk about band-aids. Definitely good to have some larger sized um, band-aids with you. These are pretty decent size. I'm hoping you can see it through the Again, blisters, cuts, maybe you scrape a knee. These are great to have. You're going to pay a lot of money on the cruise ship to buy them if you need to in their store. Um, I also really, really, really recommend these Compi Blister Care. Okay? These are amazing. You're going to put these right over wherever you're getting a blister. These particularly the size are for like your heel area. If you get a blister walking in the heel, these are fantastic. We're still going. The other thing I recommend, because you can cut them to fit whatever size you need, is just getting this little bit of moleskin padding. Moleskin is absolutely wonderful to protect areas, you know, sensitive areas that are getting rubs and blisters and things. Um, so these are big sheets. What you need to do is bring with you a little scissors which is in here somewhere, we'll find it eventually. But you just cut these to whatever size and shape you need. These are fantastic. There's still more. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Thanks for staying with me. Okay, we've got another. Um, this is a little facial scrub. Just a little sample size face scrub. Super easy to take along, have with. I've got another small thing of um, sunscreen. Just little, little, tra little travel size. And then I've got these two little travel size sunscreens as well. This is uh, SPF 50 and SPF 100. These are great to take out on an excursion with you. You can reapply. You can use one whole one of these for the day and be done with it. Uh, instead of lugging around like a big, large bottle of sunscreen. Kind of nice to have some of those travel sizes. On the thought of more first aid, I have two gauze strips. Um, again, you, you don't know. You could fall, trip, hurt yourself. These gauze strips are um, really awesome. And this is why I suggested the first aid tape, that roll of first aid tape, because this is just gauze. We're almost done, you guys. I got a couple more items. More, more, more drops. These are vapor drops. So a little bit different than the Luden's cough drops. These are um, a little stronger. And then um, for my ladies... Let's say you are going to be going to formal night with your uh, family. Um, I actually like taking some of these little tape strips. They're, they're basically to like tape your shirt down. Let's say you've got a shirt that's kind of wanting to expose your cleavage. You can put a little bit of this tape on and kind of tape your um, clothing to your skin. Or you can tape, maybe you've got a button down shirt that's starting to pucker and you're afraid people are going to see what they shouldn't see. You can tape that with this little bit of fabric tape. Super easy to take these. Very, very nicely traveling sized. Almost done. Now, scissors are not allowed on ships unless they are small ones like this first aid shears. This is the only size you can get on board a, a ship, okay? Everything else will be confiscated. So this would be used to cut your moleskin. It can be used to cut your first aid tape. Um, any bandages or anything that you need to just trim, that is what these are. These are, and they've got the little first aid uh, tops to them as well. So those are allowed on board nothing larger than that okay almost to the end we talked a little bit about uh, seasickness and motion sickness with the dramamine these i highly recommend you have on board you never know when the seas are going to get rough these are called c-bands you can get these again in uh off amazon and in a bunch of places these work really really well for seasickness okay they just go on your wrist so if you're getting out in um you know, your, your captain's warning you there's going to be rough seas. Just put one of these on. Don't even wait for you to get seasick. You just put one of these on. They're fantastic. Um, you can kind of see the pictures. They go just right around your uh, wrist. And they're drug-free. So it's nausea, travel, morning sickness, chemotherapy-induced nausea relief. Um, very, very, very well known. So... That is pretty much what I have in here right now. Um, I probably will try to collect a couple more things to put in here, but uh, super nice to have this in this. It'll just hang somewhere in our room, off of a hook, behind a door, on a doorknob, in the closet, wherever. 
and we don't have to worry if we've got something going on i should have us covered now we're going for um, a week cruise plus we're going to spend a couple extra days in europe so we're gone almost two weeks so it's going to be really nice to have some first aid available um, throat lozenges cough relief you know headache remedies and things so uh, what i'm going to be showing you guys on another video is this is um Basically, what I'm going to be packing a bunch of drugs in. This I will take with me on my carry-on, so I know I have that with me uh, in case one of our luggages gets um, lost and we lose this or it's delayed. I have something to take us through um, whenever our luggage arrives. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Like I said, I'll be developing a couple more videos showing you a lot more items that I really, really, really recommend you take on cruise ships and when you go cruising. Let me know your thoughts down below on this. Um, some people say I'm overpacked. Let me tell you, we used a bunch of this stuff on our last cruise. I was really happy I had it. So um, I probably could get away. I'm contemplating not taking this entire bottle of Tums. I think I might have some room in here that I can probably put enough Tums. The uh, reason why I have the whole bottle is we're not going to be just gone for the week's cruise. We're actually going to be gone almost two weeks, and I'm worried that I just won't have enough. I don't tend to get heartburn, but when you are traveling abroad and eating strange foods and things, it can it can happen for sure. So I might just take this little travel size bottle. Um, we'll see. But uh, let me know, like I said, down below what you guys think about this. Um, any other suggestions you think I should pack? Let me know. All right. Thanks so much for your time. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love if you join my YouTube family. And then I am also on TikTok and I am also on Instagram. Same channel name, Opinionated Horsewoman. So make sure you follow me there as well. And uh, thanks guys so much. I'll see you on my next video. Bye everybody.